Hey there, I've been using backpacking quilts for about the last two and a half years and I've grown to really love them. If you're feeling a little bit less sure, if you're still in a sleeping bag and you're thinking about transitioning to a quilt, I wanna point out four things about the REI Magma 30 quilt that I really love. Stay tuned, here we go. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Bug Tent, and we talk a lot on this channel about ultralight camping gear, lightweight camping gear, getting families outside and looking for budget deals. Today I'm going to be talking about the REI 30 Magma Quilt. Uh, it's the choice that I've made for my own personal quilt on the trail. I think there are four reasons you should check it out and consider seeing if it's the right option for you. The first thing I love about this is the weight of the bag. It's 19 ounces, that's incredibly light. That's one pound, three ounces for the regular size. And that comes with 850 filled down. It has a 15D Pertex coating, which is really soft and really comfortable on the skin. Like most REI things, you can uh, score an even better price by waiting till one of their 30% off sales or perhaps using one of their 20% off coupons. If you play your cards right, you can get this down to a remarkably low price. Uh, I'll go ahead and put up a graphic here that shows um, how this stacks up to an enlightened equipment revelation. Uh, you can see it stacks up really favorably across, across the board, both in weight and price. Of course, you're not going to have the option to custom build it. Uh, if this is your first foray into quilts, you can go into a store, you can uh, get in the bag, you can feel what it feels like to be in a quilt, you can see whether or not it's a fit for you, and then you can go ahead and make that purchase based on actual first-hand experience. Some people have complained that this doesn't pack down into the stuff sack that it comes with. I haven't had any issues with that. To be totally honest, I never use the stuff sack. Uh, I always just stuff directly into the liner inside my sleeping bag, but uh, I will go ahead and stuff this up for you just so you can see that uh, with a little time and care, this uh, totally compacts into that stuff sack. The second thing I love about this sleeping bag is it has really generous dimensions. Again, for the regular, you can see that it has 56 inches across, and that's, uh, that's in terms of girth. That's an additional two inches of coverage than some of the other quilt makers. Uh, that's really important for somebody who's a side sleeper like me because that means uh, additional coverage, fewer drafts as I shift around in the night. Third thing that I really love about this is the attachment system that this bag uses to um, keep the bag located on the pad during the night. As you can see, this uses a toggle system that's really easy to use once you're in the sleeping bag. I like it because it's easy to attach and it's easy to manipulate while you're in the bag. This allows me as well to position these toggles on top of my sleeping pad, which means I can really bring this quilt around my body so that I'm really just insulating the space around myself while I sleep. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put up a quick graphic. Again, this is from Backpacking Lights. Uh, these were done by Mike Cleland and they're associated with an article from 2006 called Unconventional Sleeping Systems. Uh, but I think what it does is it illustrates how you want this bag wrapped tightly around you, not really wrapped around the sleeping pad. And again, that's one of the, you know, one of the nuances of using a quilt is you're really trying to minimize drafts and insulate just yourself uh, while using a high R value pad to insulate the space below you. So uh, the toggle system is one of the keys that allows this to happen. I love the baffle collar around the neck that helps keep the warm air in. When some people move from a sleeping bag to a quilt, they complain about not having a hood and having uh, warm air escape out of their sleeping bag while they're sleeping. You can see right here, there's this extra uh, baffle of fabric. You can snap this closed and use this drawstring to cinch the neck down So it has a fairly small opening. What it does is it allows you to close up the opening of that sleeping bag and create a barrier for that warm air so that it doesn't escape out as you're moving around in the night. And I've been very happy with how it uh, helps to really sort of hug the bag around you. It creates a shape around your shoulders that holds the bag on top of you even as you roll over or adjust during the night. Okay folks, that's the REI 30 Magma Quilt. I love it. Um, it's the first uh, solo quilt I've owned and I'm uh, really happy about it. Uh, I told the folks at REI, I said, hey, this is my first quilt. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if this is something I'm going to love. And they told me, it's not a problem. You have a year, go figure it out. If you love it, keep it. If you don't, bring it back. We're gonna make sure that you get a piece of gear you love. Of course, I ended up loving it. It's a fantastic piece of gear. It's that kind of reassurance that I really appreciate uh, when trying something new, when exploring a, a style or approach that I haven't used before. 
So I would encourage you to go out, give this a shot, uh, see if you can combine up some of those coupons and deals to bring that price down. I think you'll be really happy with it. If you have any questions, go ahead, hit me in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe. You can find me over on Instagram if you wanna check out some midweek action over there. Uh, until then, bug 10 out.